Chapter 3, Section 2, Solving Inequalities Using Addition and Subtraction. The addition and, pro and, and subtraction properties of inequality are going to be like the addition and subtraction properties of equality, only now instead of an equal sign, we're going to have an inequality sign. Basically say that if you add or subtract the same number from both sides of an inequality, the inequality is going to remain true. The first example asks us, what are the solutions of x plus 9 is less than 12? Graph the solutions. We start with our inequality x plus 9 is less than 12. If you look at your variable x, you are adding 9 to it. We need to do the inverse or opposite of adding 9, which is subtracting 9. Whatever you do to one side of your inequality, you have to do to the other side of your inequality, just like with equations. Our 9's are going to cancel out, so I'm left with x is less than 3. When I graph this inequality, it says graph, graph the solutions, I have my number line. I'm going to have an open circle at 3 because it's just a less than. If it was a less than or equal to, then I would have a closed circle. But remember, just less than or greater than, we have an open circle. And it says x is less than 3. So I'm going to have to shade in every number on the number line that is less than 3. So I'm, in this case, I'm shading to the left. The next example says, what are the solutions of 7 is less than or equal to x plus 3? And then graph the solutions. Again, I start with the original inequality. Look at the variable. Notice that you're adding 3 to the variable. I need to do the inverse or opposite again. The opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. I need to do this to both sides to keep the inequality true. When I say, do 7 minus 3, I get 4 is less than or equal to x. I know that I need the closed circle or closed dot at 4 because it's a less than or equal to. Be careful when you're graphing this inequality. Make sure, remember that you can read it both ways. You can say x is less than or equal to, uh, I'm sorry, 4 is less than or equal to x, or you can read it the other way and you can say x is greater than or equal to 4. When you read it as x is greater than or equal to 4, that to me makes more sense. I like to read it with my variable first. When I say x is greater than or equal to 4, I know that I'm shading in the numbers like 5, 6, 7, all the numbers that are larger than 4. The next example says, what are the solutions of t plus 3 is greater than negative 1? Graph the solutions. Again, start with your original inequality. You have t plus 3. The opposite of adding 3 to t would be subtracting 3 from both sides. You're left with t is greater than negative 4. Remember your inequality rules, negative plus and minus and positive is a negative. You add the numbers, keep the sign. t is greater than negative 4. I'm going to have an open circle at negative 4, and I'm going to need to shade in all the numbers that are greater than negative 4. The next example says the hard drive your, on your computer has a capacity of 250 gigabytes. You used 115 gigabytes. What, uh, you want to save some home videos to your hard drive. What are the possible sizes of the home video collection you can save? If it has a capacity of 250 gigabytes, it can hold 250, but it cannot hold more than that. Okay, it can hold less than that though. We know that we've already used 115. So whatever we add to the 115 has to be less than or equal to the 250 that it has as its capacity. So X would be the size of my videos plus the 115 gigabytes that are already there has to be less than or equal to 250 gigabytes or the maximum that it can hold. To solve for x, or to get x by itself, I need to subtract 115 from both sides. 
When I subtract 115 from both sides, I get x is less than or equal to 135 gigabytes. So that means that I could have a 135 gigabyte video or anything less than that. If I had 136 or 140 gigabyte video, it would be too much. It could not fit. Today's assignment is on page 187. It's numbers 2 through 28 even.